My name is Francesca and I am a tutor here on Check.com. So today I'm going to talk to you about schedules of reinforcement. So we have two types of reinforcement. We have continuous reinforcement and we have partial reinforcement. So we're going to talk just very briefly about the continuous reinforcement because it's super easy, it's super simple. All it is is that you reinforce the behavior every single time that it happens. So what does that mean? That just means that every single time the desired behavior occurs, you're going to reinforce it in some way. So for example, let's say you are potty training a dog. You're going to give the dog a treat, that's the reinforcement, every single time he uses the bathroom outside. That's the desired behavior. So you're going to do that every single time it occurs. Like I said, it, every single time. So it's continuous. Um, and that's really all that is to continuous reinforcement. Now the trickier part of reinforcement comes with the partial reinforcement. So we have four different types of partial reinforcement. We have a fixed ratio, a variable ratio, a fixed interval, and a variable interval. And I know that those words might sound familiar, that you kind of get them confused, so I'm just going to break it down as much as I can. So when I'm talking about a variable, at its basic definition, we are talking about the number of responses before reinforcement occurs. So you have to give a number of responses, okay? When we're talking about um, an interval, we're talking about a certain amount of time. The a certain amount of time just has to elapse before reinforcement occurs. When we're talking about something that is fixed, we're talking about a specific rate of response. So a specific rate, a constant rate, they're kind of interchangeable, but it's going to be the exact same every single time. It doesn't change. When we're talking about a variable, we're talking about a changing rate. Um, it's going to be different. It's different every single time. Um, it varies. So let's kind of put these words together and figure out what we're talking about when we're talking about schedules of reinforcement. So the first one we have is a fixed ratio. And what this means is that reinforcement is going to come after a specific number of responses. So the behavior has to occur a specific number of times before that person is reinforced. So let's talk about um, car salesmen, for example. Let's say that a car salesman has to sell five cars a day before they get a bonus of $100 before they leave the car lot. So this is considered a fixed ratio because the car salesman must sell five cars. That's the specific number or the fixed part um, every day before they can get a $100 bonus. So the specific number of response, that's the five cars every day to get the $100. That's the reinforcement. <clears throat> Let's talk about now about fixed interval. So this is when reinforcement comes after a specific amount of time. So let's say you have a test every Friday and um, that's going to be the fixed interval because it's a specific amount of time. It's every seven days. It's every week. So the fixed is the amount of days. The interval is the time, the time that has elapsed. Um, so when we have a fixed interval, we kind of have um, an interesting rate of response when we do these kinds of reinforcement. Um, let's say that we do have that test every Friday. Most people won't start to show the desired behavior until right before the reinforcement comes. So let's say you have class on Monday and you know that you have the test on Friday because you do every Friday. You're not really going to study as much on Monday. Now, as the Friday test starts to come up, you start to study a little more and a little more and a little more until on Thursday night you're doing an all-nighter because you know you didn't study on Monday. Um, so it just kind of has that slow increase of a response. Um, whereas the fixed ratio, it's going to be the same response. It has a high rate of response every single time. That's kind of the difference there. So when we talk about variable ratio, we're going to talk about reinforcement that comes after a different number of responses has occurred. Variable ratio has a very, very high rate of response. And this is because the person doesn't know when they're going to be rewarded next. 
Um, an example of this would be gambling at the casino, going to the slot machine. Let's say you're at the slot machine and you pull the lever on the slot two times and then you get reinforcement. You get that money back and the lights are going off and you're just loving it. You're getting reinforced. Um, and then you keep going and you keep going and then you, you, you pull the slot machine 15 times and you still haven't gotten reinforcement but then you pull it on the 16th time and then you get reinforcement again you get all your money back and then you pull the lever one more time and what do you know you got reinforced again it's just a different number of responses that occur before you get the reinforcement and like I said it is has a very high rate of response um, if you do this type of reinforcement because people don't really know when they're going to re be reinforced so they keep going and they just keep going until they get that reinforcement um, now the opposite side of that is the variable interval and this is when you get reinforced after a varying amount of time. This actually has a slow rate of response but the response rate is steady. So let's kind of talk about an example of this. Let's say that your teacher said that he's going to give a pop quiz and you don't really know when he's going to give a pop quiz, but he said at the beginning of the semester, you're going to have a pop quiz somewhere in the, in the semester. Well, he might decide that one week you're going to have two pop quizzes or you don't have pop quizzes for two months. You don't really know when you're going to get that pop quiz. So you just decide that you're going to study every night before you have that class, just in case that you do have that pop quiz. Um, Variable interval really doesn't occur that much in the real world. Um, it does have that slow rate of response, and that's one of the reasons why people don't use it as much. But it does have a steady rate of response, and it is very much resistant to extinction, meaning that if you do use this type of reinforcement, the be desired behavior won't stop after reinforcement has been extinguished or you stop giving reinforcement. They'll just keep doing it. Um, even after the reinforcement's not there anymore. So I know I briefly touched on these. Um, and again, it's kind of one of those things where you, you kind of have to go back and study it a couple times. I know for me, it took me, gosh, I can't even tell you how long it took me to memorize these. So I, I just kind of color coded everything because I'm a very visual type of learner. So I thought maybe if I mapped it out for you and if I put colors in it, it'd help you remember. So. Um, if you have any more questions, I know there's more types of reinforcements, uh, schedules of reinforcements we could talk about. Um, I just want to talk about these four because they're the most um, prominent, I would guess you would say, and the most taught. So um, feel free to message me um, if you have any more questions, um, and I hope you guys have a great day.